Hello and welcome to Kerrick Builds. We're back with another episode of Return to Moria today. And I have decided to run back a ways here to, what is this, the Secret Tuma Kings? And we had passed this altar looking thing here, the holder for the Kazit Stone, I believe. And now that I have it, I thought we'd come and interact with this just to see if anything happens. There's a stone missing here. The Khazad Stone? Stone of the Dwarves. Maybe we'll find it somewhere still in the mountain. Okay. We'd found it, but apparently we don't need to take it back here because we definitely have it in our inventory. If you look here, it says the company has the Khazad Stone. Well, it was worth a shot. I know a couple of people were asking about this in the comments and messages and stuff. So we've come, we've tried, nothing there so much. Let me check this though. I can't remember if I found all of these. We did find the carvings there. And with that, we're gonna run back here to the Belagost Forge, which is right around the corner here, and uh, use the map stone to get out of here. I do have the uh, brew tank going here on the healing uh, brew. That's gonna take another 17 minutes here though, so I'm gonna continue to move along. We've got all of our normal buffs here, and we're gonna get back out here into the Barizen Bar and start building our way down into the depths and see if we can locate some of this mithril that we need to build this weapon and face a dragon. Now, I'm not sure if there's a quote unquote right way to get down here. This area looks like it's gonna be the easiest though because there's already some other uh, platforms and stuff down here. So I figure this will let me build up on the way down. Oops. She's gone. She's I was expecting it to get all the way down to this platform, but honestly, I don't even need to build any more platforms. Looks like I can just jump on down here. Uh, I don't know how deep this water is. Not that deep. Great. Well, let's get over here. I see that the way to go is that way somewhere. I want to see if this is that mithril we're looking for, though. It is, indeed. There is the smallest little sliver of it there, and then I mined it, and I don't think we got any actual ore. It's like uh, just enough to tease us here. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, I wonder if they did that on purpose. Well, let's go, oops, uh, let's go this way and see if I can find this other direction that we need to go. There's a little bit more. Maybe that will actually yield some more. There's some mithril ore, finally. I have to say this is going to be painful if most of it's already mined out everywhere. All of these effort, we've gotten five, which is probably enough for like one bar. Uh, there's definitely a way to go somewhere over here, though, but we're not finding it. I might have come down in the wrong area. We might actually need to go back up top and try and work our way over somewhere else. We're slowly working our way up this cliffside. There's a lot of little platforms and such to get up here. I'm sure once we're at the top, we could probably find a good spot to build a little bit more convenient way back down but I believe that we're gonna go through this stone here to get to where we're trying to be. We'll find out in a second, I suppose. Oh yeah, there's the rest of this room. I like the it. Rock wouldn't, wouldn't like this. There's he gotta be some works around. We'll take a quick look around in here. There just seems to be a lot of dead dwarves. I'm curious what's down this path before we go through the tunnel and on to the next area. Oh, is this one of those uh, wizard marks? The shadows are becoming stronger. The shadows are strong under Kardhadras. An evil presence lurks. A wizard searches for Thrain. Might as well clear off the mithril ore 
And the first mining of Mithril was by Durin the first himself. Though when it was discovered, it remains a mystery. It is said that Mithril under these mountains was the reason Durin was drawn to these caverns, named True Silver at first sight by Durin. It remains a secret of Khazad Doom until the Second Age. Oh, look at how far down that goes. Well, before we get to all of that, let's go up this way. This is quite an extensive little area up here. I was honestly not expecting this much to be up here. I'm going to put this over here. Use that as a way down. Is that a rat? Okay, I'm making sure it wasn't like a warg or something coming to get me. And it looks like below us there'll be another way down too. Where is this going out into? An area that wasn't visibly connected on the map before I walked through it. I always hate when that happens. You know, that's a long way down, a lot of levels and different things to go explore. I'm gonna move past this a little bit just to see if I can get a better look at this room from the other side. I see a uh, set of feathers up here that I'm interested in getting now that we've got the better crossbow recipes unlocked. Might as well grab them. It takes a couple of feathers to make a bundle of 15 crossbow bolts and I haven't found a lot of them uh, in our adventures but I've also not really looked for them. I think they're one of those resources that probably respawns over time. Looks like we've got, I'm pretty sure, star metal ore. Yep. A blocked cavern. Okay. And back the way we came. I don't really want to get into the shadow mess there. But I think I could build a bridge across this if we wanted to. So I'm going to try that real quick. There we go. I want to go back and finish exploring uh, the area we were in first before taking that because that's going to be a way down into a lot of other stuff that I wasn't quite ready to get into yet. It'll probably all link up in the end though because I guess this did go quite a ways down as well. Toss this over here, and I'm going to try and stop on these sub-levels and see if there's anything good in these walls. Plus it'll give me a chance to make the next platform. We've got precious gems and sunstone. Well, I always need the sunstone. And let's see what kind of precious gems we've got. Sapphires. I'm just going to see if this breaks through to somewhere else real quick. It looks like it could. Nope. All right, well, I'm going to get the sunstone. We're still not... Oh, that was close to falling off. Uh, we're still not quite there yet uh, on feeling like we've got enough to use for whatever we want. we got a few recipes that we could use. Uh, being able to farm anywhere we want by building the lamps might be nice. I haven't got into the farming a lot yet in this particular game. I feel like I find so much stuff as it is that I haven't really felt a need to farm for more of it, but maybe we're missing out on some things. More sunstone. Uh, before I go too far down, though, I am going to place a uh, ladder on this wall just to make sure I've got a way back up. It's a lot easier to place it when you're higher than when you're lower. And I suppose I should place this one while I'm thinking of it, too. And we're down to the bottom. More shadow, no light for our queen. All right, enthralled. Oh, Ooh, that's actually quite effective. However, let's switch to the sword and shield here. Oh, they're coming up behind me. I need a better weapon. 
Knocked two down for one. I'll take it. I don't find the charge on this uh, smaller sword to typically be worth it. Maybe I'm just uh, missing the swing sometimes. not like the really short reach on this sword either. Yeah, I just feel like uh, that's way more my style. Perfect. All right, well, let's pick all this stuff up and get moving. Was not really anticipating a fight there. And as always, I like to knock these banners down before more orcs start showing up. I don't know what the respawn time is on these camps, but we might as well get it going. Oh, there is a orc. See, we've got more popping out of the ground on us. I was kind of hoping knocking that down was going to solve that problem. <laughs> That's one more for me. Yeah, so they can take down my armor with their normal attacks, but they don't actually do any damage to me once my armor's gone. It's kind of an interesting mechanic. I don't disagree with it. It's just not what I would have expected necessarily, uh, but I'll take it. I like that we've got uh, good enough armor that we don't have to really worry about some of this stuff. Although it does make it feel almost trivial right now, which is not what I wanted. I really liked some of those other fights where I felt like my life was in peril, but I don't know. It's a weird balance. We're going to run down here and see what's what, and then I'm going to turn around. I know the other path is behind me here yet, but this seems to go somewhere. Oh, haha. <laughs> well, there's uh, where we were before. This is just the same path to get back down without taking the ladders. I'm going to take this. I think it's the star metal. Yep. Let's see where uh, this path takes us. Ooh, another large room that looks like it goes to a whole bunch of places. Well, I'm guessing now that this zone is going to be quite large just based on what we've uncovered so far here. Not necessarily a bad thing. I really felt like we were coming up on the end of the game rather quickly, but now it's uh, seeming like we may have a fair amount of exploration to do ahead of us still. Uh, what do I got over there? Sunstone? I don't know what that is. That looks special. We should probably go over there. And at some point we're going to have to worry about going up and down in these areas. Oops, that's poison. Before I go over there, I just want to bust this open. I'm curious if it's another big area or if it's going to start having some dead ends here somewhere eventually. Yeah, I mean, that's going to continue on again. Oh my goodness. We're going to have all kinds of exploring to do. 
a little bit, I guess not concerned, but I was hoping I'd find some more mithril somewhere down here. We found just the tiniest little bit. We've got orcs down below. Star metal. I don't know if this is special or just a way to go. Another huge room that has multiple levels. Oh my goodness. I kind of want to stay on this level and finish exploring before we go down to the lower levels. At least that's what I've got my mind set on at the moment. We'll see how long I stick to that. Why am I taking damage? Oh, was I, I was poisoned or something, but I don't show poison in my statuses, but I'm taking constant damage. Why am I taking constant damage? Whoa! Rocks falling off of the ceiling. Not cool game. Alright, well I think I've hit the extent of this level of the zone. So let me go back across here. And we'll figure out where it is I want to go down a little bit further. Um, I think we'll do right here. Enthralled. These shadow orcs serve the dragon. They've been corrupted by her shadow and they seem to be coming more animal-like. Okay. And I had a new recipe here somewhere, just the mithril ore. Got it. I suppose I should keep moving. We've got stuff falling down on us. Gold ore. Oh, we've got a drake. Um, yikes. Yeah, ever since I figured out I could just roll into it, oops, to avoid... <laughs> Most of the damage, actually, that didn't hurt me at all. It's uh, gotten a lot easier. Man, this high-level armor is really helping us out. I'm not even taking damage anymore. I don't even remember how many scales we're going to need, but we've got quite a few now. Let's bust through this wall and see if it connects us into, again, a... Uh, area that's not on the map or just a little compartment in the back of this here. Now this is just a smaller part of the same room. Nothing to see here. We'll check this one as well while we're here. It looks suspiciously close to the edge of the room, but I think it's just a little pocket back here behind the wall. Nothing major. Okay, well we're being complete. Not gonna miss anything here, hopefully. And I guess I, we're not seeing anything, so it's time to start looking for a spot to go down. I think I'm gonna go back and do that from the same side as we're gonna come from the map stone if we ever need to come back this way. Or I suppose we could continue on and finish this level like I said we were going to do. Let's do that. Uh, let's finish everything up here before I go down a level. That way I'm not having to come back later on. I feel like the lower we go, the higher the level tends to be in most cases. We're just gonna keep on going. Nothing interesting in any of these side rooms so far. Another large room. Looks like it's gonna have many levels down again. Wow. I have to say, this part of the dungeon feels pretty overwhelming with so much uh, going down. We've got sunstone everywhere down here. Well, let's see what's here. I don't expect a whole lot of anything, though, based on what we've found so far. Nothing over here. Still haven't found any mithril. I'm guessing it's all going to be on the lower levels. We're probably not 
deep enough but from a fathoms perspective I feel like we're gonna have to be below a certain depth to find some more what is that down there looks like we've got some kind of a oh no map stone we've got to watch out for these falling stones there's plenty of warning with the little dust things like that before it comes down but I'm gonna get killed if we're not careful but nothing here I know I said I was gonna go back to the beginning to start going down but maybe we'll go down here since we saw that thing right there I'm gonna run back over to this other side where we've already got a ladder though and we'll do it there so I'm down over here where I think I was looking before and this is just a uh, true quartz I don't think there's actually a stone or anything interesting down here I was deceived by the distance just lots and lots of sunstone. Well, that's unfortunate. However, we do seem to have two ways to go, I think, out of this area. So let's see if we can figure out what the one on the back wall over here is going to be. another one of these rooms that's going to go down even further that's just crazy to me how deep are we going I mean I suppose we're at 270 right now if I was gonna guess from a game mechanic perspective 300 sounds like a nice even number to put a, uh, uh, a restriction on for where we'll go find it. Mithril. That's a sealed doorway. Okay, can't go through there. I've got enough of these to do three more platforms. Oh, and I've got Shadow just below me. That's an unfortunate uh, placement. We got orcs! We've got one of those Durin's torches by the thing down here, it looks like. I, I think that's what that is. Um, there's a good place to put this right there. That looks pretty good. gonna have to fight him I just don't want to do it in the shadow and I think I can jump over to that area I don't have enough fiber anyway to cover things up so let's get out the good axe maybe I'll oh, I was gonna put down a floor axe or a floor torch but I don't have time I guess these guys don't actually hurt at this level so I won't stress out about uh, the perfect fight alright let's get out of the shadow for just a minute get out our torch and charge rebuilding come on come on start singing Woo! a horde is coming oh my goodness finish singing bud oh that's a dragon of some kind over there I think in the distance behind all those orcs Uh, oh, are you serious? My song didn't finish. Uh, okay. A warg demon. So 
I'm in darkness. This guy's holding the torch. <laughs> have definitely gotten bigger than they were uh, previously. I don't like these shadow ones. I get the in-shadow debuff. I'm going to get despair at some point at this rate. I guess it's because I stand on their bodies, maybe? Come on. There we go. I have nowhere near enough room for all of this nonsense. I see all these different wards around that haven't worked their way over here. Yeah, we are full up with all kinds of miscellaneous garbage. I suppose I can get rid of that. I'm such a dwarf. It's like, no, I must get all of the treasure. Can't possibly pass on that. Okay. Nope. Not so much. Well, let's go try and sing again. Like, can I out-sing the horde music? I see wings. I'm almost positive there's a dragon over there. Tell Durin wakes from sleep. All right, shadow dealt with. Right, that's definitely... Oh, is it just a drake? It's probably just a drake or one of those fell beasts. Oh, and this is probably the darkest deeps. Oh, they wouldn't put the mithril down in the bottom of the darkest deeps, would they? That's probably what they're doing to me. Ah, uh, bother. Alright, let's finish this up then. See if I can get this horde warning to go away. I'm pretty sure it's just these wargs. Victory! Well, I might as well go over here and deal with the fell beast before we go down. I'm not gonna leave it up here to torment me on my Attack return. Nope, this thing isn't even doing damage to me anymore. Apparently Durin's armor is a badass. I'm not close enough to do damage to it though, but... Oh, there we go. Uh, fine leather I can't even pick up. We'll drop the mushrooms, I think. Scales, fine leather. Very nice. All righty. Well, let's get the dwarf remains. We'll get this. And I'm going to head down here while I have Undaunted, which is going to help protect me against the shadow. Uh, I think that's always important when you're going down to the darkest deeps. I don't have enough natural fiber. Are you kidding me? Oh, man. Usually there's like little bits laying around in here, but I'm not seeing any. We're going to have to run back out into this zone and see if I can track some down. I mean, I know there's usually spiders at the bottom of those things, so maybe I could get part of the way down and then uh, 
figure it out because I'm not seeing any for once anywhere in this dungeon. Like, there's always some way in around here. That's just very unfortunate right now. All right, I'm going to go deconstruct some of these ladders that I have over on the other side just so I can just enough so I can get down more or less safely like these two I think I can get both of these if I climb up here oh I'm not gonna make it so this is actually a mithril mine shaft not the darkest deeps per se and a look at that we've got mithril down here we did end up uh, taking the easy route down and just building some platforms and stuff although that has cost us most of our buff here so we will not be uh, having the benefits of that which is unfortunate because we're gonna be in darkness down here and getting despair sooner than later Opal the iris silver the bone now I'd wish I'd uh, paid better attention to what that recipe required as far as a number of mithril bars I'm not necessarily going to stop and go digging through menus while we're down here because I'm looking at the bottom left hand corner my despair meter is dropping quickly so I've got to get this stuff mined and get back up as fast as possible and I know for a fact it's going to take me a while to get up there if we don't find some more rope we don't have an easy path back up we're kind of doing this but yeah jumping from platform to platform and I'm not sure I've place them all in convenient spots. I'm also unable to pick up mithril ore right now. I'm gonna have to fix that situation right quick. Meat? No, thank you. All right, we've got all of that. This looks to be a much larger deposit, so we'll go for this one. And we're down here at the bottom. Uh, I've picked up all the mithril ore that we can find in this opening chasm, chasm, and let's uh, just stick our head out here. I've got despair already, so I don't want to go too far. I was really hoping to get my hands on some of the uh, rope from these spiders, so maybe I'll try and kill one spider here. There we go. How many is this going to give me? One. All right, well, this is a lot of mithril down here. Now we know. Let's get out of here. Did I take the wrong path? Please tell me I didn't take the wrong path. Okay. Let's go. And we're out of the darkness part. All right. Up, up, up we go. So if we just take a moment here, this weapon we need is going to be five mithril ingots. We got and, of course, the orcs are going to come pester me while I'm trying to look at my inventory. How annoying can you be, orcs? In order to make a mithril ore, I need six ore to make an ingot. And so I've got just shy of ten ingots worth of material. So i got nine ingots worth of material right now. Oh, not bad at all. We're actually probably set up to be able to make this thing now. It's masterwork, so I'm going to have to give up my masterwork pickaxe uh, when we switch to that. But I think we're good to go, because that's really the only thing I've got pending to build. So I'm not going to go back down there right now. Um, I will be able to find that again. And really, the shadow's back in here already? This is the part that I don't like about these Durin lamps and why generally I viewed them as a waste of time. You have to re-sing at the lamp every time you leave and enter that zone area. It's very annoying. I suppose the benefit, though, is that uh, you get the buff every time you do it. So there's some small silver lining. I'm just going to grab a few more wood scraps from breaking down the structure that we did so that I can uh, continue onwards.
This one dead. This is uh, way too easy because the combat has become suddenly trivial. It went from being difficult to completely trivial overnight. Uh, amazing what a set of armor will do for you. And so I'm going to go ahead and empty out something that's trash. I guess the uh, wheat. Just so that I can keep taking the stuff we need. I mean, honestly, I, I don't need any of this stuff, so if I come across some diamonds or something, maybe, uh, I will uh, make room for them, but... Speaking of... Onward? Um, I could build a map stone down here, I suppose, to get back and empty the inventory out, but we've got a little bit of room still. I've got, like, some metal fragments and stuff in my inventory we can still get rid of it if we need to. Definitely don't need more of those. I'm gonna guess that's the way to the boss, so we're gonna take the side path first. I see an encampment in front of us. We'll do the side paths in a minute. I wish there was a purpose to all of this treasure. Like, we've picked up all these coins, we've got mountains and mountains of treasure back at the base. I wish there was a point to it, something you could do with it. It seems, uh, I don't know, so many aspects of this game seem so pointless right now. Alright, this is all done. Nothing, nothing. Star metal. And I'm pretty sure, based on the fact that we've found next to no mithril in these areas, that the mithril is all going to be down below in the darkest deeps types areas. The deepest source of shadow is where the Azan Orkais have taken up their domain, destroying it will keep the mithril loads safer. Yep. Alright, well, let's do it. I've got one whole piece of food, but hopefully since we're not seeming to suffer a lot of damage here that we won't need it. Uh, I did need a whole bunch of these uh, flowers to make one of the recipes though so I'm gonna start picking those up as we run by them. I always forget that. And look at all of this shadow in here. Well of shadows. Okay, hang on. I'm going to step back and read these. The shadow is not the work of the dragon after all. Her presence inflamed it, but it was created with the earth itself. Perhaps the well here under Karhadris attracted the Balrog as it flew in terror from Thanagodrim. Our ancient purpose was forgotten over the deeps of time, but now we dwarves know the Maker intended us to heal the damage of Morgoth. So I must lead us to drive away the shadow wherever we find it. An ancient dwarven seal sits over a giant well of shadows. The seal must have been placed over this pit during the time of Durin the First, and Durin's lamps were used to help subdue the shadow vents that appear throughout the mountain. 
These must be connected to the duty of Durin's folk, to subdue the shadows that billow forth from deep within the earth while bringing light to the dark places. Reseal the wards. Clear the area and find a way to reseal the wards around the Well of Shadow. Deep stars below, it is Agusham Azanal, the fabled Well of Shadow, where Morgoth's very essence leaks into the world. King Durin the Deathless was said to have sealed it with wards and runes more powerful than anything in three ages of this world, and the filthy Rukas must have torn it apart. I must reseal it. Okay. Well, let's see if I can get in here at least. An ancient dwarven seal subdues shadow. It must be connected to the duty of Durin's folk. Ah, the seal needs repairing. This shadow well is the biggest I've seen. Okay. Is it going to tell me how to repair it, or am I going to have to get down there, I suppose? I'm going to circle around. I see an orc banner on the other side here. If I can start with clearing that out, it'll help. Ooh, what do we got over here? Ruined map stone. Might as well get that. That's going to make our lives so much easier. This is... I don't know what this is, but we'll get it. And then let's go up here and see what this is. Ancient doors requires the uh, spear. That's probably where the dragon's going to be then. All right. Well, let's go over here. I thought I saw it. Yeah, here it is. Oh, this isn't doing anything. Uh, circle. There we go. All right, let's go, folks. I missed. Let's go, buddy. Yeah, even the war chief isn't doing damage. I'm kind of sad. I hope the dragon at least hurts. I want the dragon to be a fair fight. I feel, uh, I don't know, I feel cheated right now, to be honest. Like, the game is way too easy all of a sudden. We spent so long with it being a little bit difficult, and now it's super easy. Oh, I went down into the shadow too much, and we got despair. Well, let's come back up out of the, the shadow. Oh, there's a uh, lore stone there. There's that guy's done. Oops. Hoping once we clear these, we can get a moment to look around. All right, let's go. Damaged History Stone. Durin's Victory. The victory of Durin shall last a life, uh, life age of the earth. To seal the wells, mend the tearing, build the lamps. May the lamps always be watched. May his victory never be forgotten. May Durin always be. May he always lead the Khazad through all times of need. <laughs> okay. I'm just curious, uh, like, can I build those Durin stones? I don't see them anywhere in here. Like, I would assume that if they wanted me to be able to build them, they'd pop up here somewhere in my build list. But at least not yet. A uh, star metal ore I can pick up. Fine leather I've got room for. That's a lot of fine cloth. Cloth scraps? No, thank you. Black diamond times six, that sounds amazing. Uh, coal times 20. Uh, I feel like we can get rid of something for coal times 20. And get rid of, well, I might need metal scraps to build something at some point here is my worry. I haven't used bones for much. 
Oh, I've got actual oh, six iron wood. That's pretty good. One silver ore is nothing. All right, I've got all that. I, did I, I didn't get the orcish key. I broke the banner. I'll just bust it open. Don't need amethyst, don't need coins. More black diamonds are always nice. Okay, I'm gonna run out here into the shadow and see if this is gonna tell me what it needs. It does not. Well, that's actually weird, unfortunate, fascinating. Oh, seal subdues shadow. It must be connected to the duty of Durin's folk. Ah, the seal needs repairing. This shadow well is the biggest I've seen. Yep. But we do not have an adamant hammer. Which means we are at an impasse here. So we're going to run back around and go out with the, uh, uh, st uh, the map stone we've got here. And see about building this thing we've got in our inventory now. Uh, I'm going to come back here first. I think I've got the resources for it now. In my inventory, actually. We'll find out real quick. Oh no, I've gotta go um I gotta go smelt the mithril. So we might as well go back to the base and we'll see make sure we've got all the stuff we need. So I left this thing brewing before we went on an hour uh adventure in the dungeons, and the timer's still at 15 minutes. So I'm wondering if the zones unload when you uh leave them and that timer's only ticking while we're in like this level of the dungeon, which would be really unfortunate. Uh, I'm a little bit peeved, but we're going to sleep, and the time will tick forward while we sleep, but come on, game. All right, I have added a bunch of these wall displays. I can put that backpack that we're not using up there, and I think I can also put Jaren's axe up there because I realized we need to get rid of the masterwork weapon here because we're about to pick up another one when we go back and craft this one. So we've got everything done here. I'm gonna rest before my food runs out and we're gonna get uh, moving on crafting this uh, mithril weapon. We've picked up Orc Hunter of all things, nice. And then I'm gonna fill my brew skin with this. Does it fill it all the way up? It does, so now I've got uh, some of that, and I forgot to start cooking some rations before we slept. I'm gonna go ahead and start that up now. And we should have the mithril that we need done out of this. So I've got the nine ingots of mithril, which we only need five of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a few of these back in the chest. We need nine, six, and six, which I have the nine, six, and six of these. So let's drop that mithril off in... Nope, that's not the chest I use. This chest. We'll put the extra four ingots there. And I'm pretty sure this building thing is just the mithril ingot palette, which we don't use. All right. I'm feeling pretty good. I think we've got all the stuff. Let's eat the food. And go build us a, a new master crafted weapon. Now, I will say one thing that's a little interesting to me. I know I'm missing some content somewhere uh, because we've got like these statues that we never turned in anywhere. And I've got a ranger page somewhere. I don't know why I have this Balan's letters and inventory item still. Stuff like that. Let's get this. Shadow's Bane. And it says, find the dragon's hoard. With the Mithril Spear in hand, it is time to confront the dragon. She has likely built her horde near where Durin's Bane slept so long ago, drawn to the shadows deep under Barizanbar. I will need to search for where the Balrog once slept. Well, I think I know where that is. 
because they want me to reseal the wards, but I haven't found the adamant hammer yet. So I don't know if I should like be doing this or I can't do this until I kill the dragon. I don't know. But we've got this, which has got an anti-dragon uh, buff on it. Let me just look in the inventory at this new weapon. Forged a mithril from a secret design revealed by the king under the mountain. The dragon's main weapon is a truly a masterwork able to pierce a dragon's hide. Only one masterwork can be carried at a time. Bonus against dragons glows when they are near. Well, let's get to it. I at least want to see if we can get through uh, that little door now. And maybe it's the dragon. Maybe it's a lot more walking we have to do to get to the dragon. Who knows? But we're going to go through it and find out what we find out. And then we may make a decision as if we're going to fight it right now. Well, it's called the Bone Horde. That's an interesting... Uh, uh, name for a map stone, but we'll we'll make a decision after we see what's behind at the door, I suppose Open the ancient door. Oh Okay There is a dragon in there Well, I'm not sure I'm ready for this fight in this episode I'm sure that's gonna be a big ordeal. It feels like it at least so we're going to uh, go back. We're gonna check a few things that we've skipped past and clean up the inventory I mean, I just cleaned up, but we're going to make sure I've got my uh, Different buffs and everything refreshed. We're almost spent here and we'll be back to fight the dragon in the next episode Hopefully you enjoyed tonight's episode if you have hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. That's all for today. Kedrick out